anywhere. Ooh, I guess we was tearing up. Another timeline. Me and Barry was tearing Another up. Another universe. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? This is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. They look just like us. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. My face. You saw my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also I'm glad destroy Netflix back. everything. Yes, sir. This can't be happening. And I'm glad my boy Dem Zod is back. I completely broke the universe. Michael Shannon. Zod. Welcome back. Welcome back. For you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Yes, we all know that's Michael Keane's bad man. Oh. Just You're, say it. You are? Yeah. My bad man. I can't undo what I did. I this if I can't get back, there might not be a future. Dude, all these scenes are crazy. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. All right. There we go. And, ooh, they showed the Flashpoint comics? Nice. All right. So that was the Flash trailer. Now, as y'all can kind of tell, I've already watched the Flash trailer during the Super Bowl. That was probably the only trailer that I, I, I just had to watch and see what's going on because it's been two years since they put out anything with this movie. You got all the drama that's going on with um, Ezra. You got the delays happening because the company, Warner Brothers, has been switching in and out with who's Lee and who. What direction are they going? Are, they, are is this a connected universe? Is this not a connected universe? What's going to happen moving forward? Like, we don't know what's going on. So now this movie finally comes out. And I didn't really expect it to see much, but I really like the trailer. It was amazing to me. I love how uh, certain action sequences they put in, you know, with the Flash running. And you can see uh, the effects that they had behind them, you know, with the red and yellow, which should be the color instead of blue. You know, th that was the one thing that annoyed me with the Flash was that it was always blue, not yellow. And I understand they trying to go with a realistic standpoint, but sometimes you can, there's realistic, but then you got to go with aesthetic. And I just didn't like the blue with the, with the Flash running that. I'm just, I'm just not used to that. I mean, other people enjoyed it, but for me, it was just like, I mean, can you put a yellow? You got, you got a person that's running fast, you know what I'm saying? Like, let them run <laughs> with the yellow lightning behind them. Like, it ain't no big deal. And then you had Michael Keaton. Now, I respect the OGs. I respect Michael Keaton's Batman. And I realize that he does have that hype. And I'm going to tell you. When I was at Xfinity Live during the Super Bowl, they showed Michael Keaton's Batman during uh, the Flash commercial. 
And when I tell you that drum pop, it popped when they showed Michael Keaton's Batman. And then that's when I realized, okay, he got some juice. That he got some type of nostalgia juice with him. Like, I, of course, I didn't grow up with Michael Keaton. I grew up with Christian Bale, Ben Affleck. That's me. That's my. Those are my Batman. You know. So, but Robert Pattinson, I think, is the best. But that's just my personal opinion. But I respect Michael Keaton's Batman because of how he changed the character overall. He made him a better character, giving him better stories. And of course, you know Frank Miller and all that. But Michael Keaton was the main thing that changed Batman overall because Batman used to be a joke. No, 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 no disrespect to Adam West, rest in peace to him. But he wasn't taken serious. He was basically like Aquaman, making jokes about him, saying you just a man with a mask. I mean, that's still the case, but at least it's more interesting with him being a mere mortal against these gods. And they created that. So, yeah, I respect Michael Keaton. I'm glad Ben Affleck's back. It's probably going to be his last movie. And I don't blame him because of the things that's been going on behind the scenes. And, you know, let him do his thing. I heard he's, he was going to direct one of the DC movies that James Gunn is, like, letting out. So we'll see what's going on with that. But I'm glad he's back. I'm glad Michael Shannon is back. I love his General Zod. Man Steel is one of the best Superman movies, period. I know people have their opinions on it. But for me, Man of Steel is at least top 10, top 15 greatest comic book movies of all time. So it is what it is, you know. Uh, I bet they're going to have Fiora fight Supergirl. Because the per the person that Supergirl's fighting, they ain't Michael Shannon. That look like Fiora. If you slow mo motion a little bit. That look like Fiora. And I'm so happy she's back too. Oh. There's just so much going on. There's probably going to be so many cameos that we haven't even seen. Bro, we might even see Christian Bell. Now, I know I know it's sacred. It's, it's sinful to put to disrespect. Well, not disrespect to do anything with Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. But I'm just saying it would be fun to see Christian Bell just for a second as Batman. That would be cool. But, uh. Yeah, I really enjoyed this Flash trailer. Now, I don't know if it's going to live up to the hype because as we've seen before with other DC films, they say, it, man, it's the best movie since The Dark Knight. This is the best movie since The Dark Knight. Oh, you, you talking about this movie? This is the best trailer since The Dark Knight. I'm, I'm just like, cool. But are you going to live up to that hype? You already got people against you with, uh, you know, that person doing whatever and <laughs> there's no way they're coming back after this movie there's no way after everything they done behind the scenes putting i'm just gonna say put uh, us dc fans through stuff hearing news after news after news about what they did in the last i mean in hawaii in wisconsin some wet some random place i understand that they're probably having mental uh, issues going on and for that I hope they're doing well but at the end of the day too much damage has been going on people are, are on edge but if they do it it is what it is man I'm not the director I'm not the head of DC if they feel if James Gunn feel well that, that's for another day but y'all you, you know what I'm getting at right so I can't wait to see the Flash movie. I can't wait to see General Zod. I can't wait to see Supergirl. And I am kind of excited to see Michael Keaton's Batman. I'm excited to see Ben Affleck. And I'm excited to see the other cameos and special effects and the Flash character. I'm excited for all that. So that's basically it for my reaction. Well, commentary really for the flash trailer the super bowl trailer so make sure to like this video comment down below your thoughts on uh this trailer and how you feel if it's good or bad let me know down in the comment section also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be the first to see my new content all right y'all
peace.